Good evening. My name is Kimberly Wright, and I have resided in Wincrest for 25 years. During that time, I've served on council, commissions, and various committees serving the citizens of Wincrest. I have been active in this city longer than any member of the current council. I'm here again to correct misinformation about the selection of the fire chief because this council doesn't seem to remember facts. Our city didn't have a fire chief from October 2013 until last month. Eric Vargas served as the acting fire chief from October 2013 until he resigned in 2015, June 2015. Upon his resignation, he publicly released recordings which exposed the harassment he had been enduring from the mayor and the city manager. They had demanded that Vargas remove some of the volunteers from the fire department for their support of a political candidate. Most citizens focused on the mayor's profanity in one of the recordings, but the main issue was retaliation. The mayor had demanded that Vargas remove volunteers who had supported the mayor's opponent when he ran for county commissioner. As a 501c4 organization, the fire association volunteers were allowed to be politically active. In July 2015, instead of abiding by the charter, section 3.03, .03, the council voted to delegate their duty to hire an interim, interim fire chief to the city manager. In December 2015, three and a half months after hiring an interim fire chief, two current council members advocated bypassing the transparent hiring process and permanently hire him. They were full of praise for his job uh, performance while acknowledging the, the excellent job the interim fire chief had done and the accolades of the volunteers he had led, the majority of the council voted no. They cited well-established hiring procedure, the, hi the procedure which needed to be honored. As with all department head candidates, the job had to be advertised and a citizen selection committee organized. By March 7, 2016, the Fire Chief Selection Committee had narrowed 29 applicants to four finalists, which included the prior interim fire chief. He had been through the hiring pro procedure and was one of the top finalists. A full year later, the current council decided not to hire the interim fire chief and selected yet another committee to hire a fire chief. Again, the interim fire chief was among the top resumes and he had served for nearly two years. His main flaw and the reason he wasn't hired he refused to kowtow to unreasonable demands. Less than a month on the job, the new fire chief wasted no time kowtowing to the city manager's demand, bring me their heads, for the four volunteers, who had done nothing more than exercise their First Amendment right of free speech. It's a very sad day for Wayne Crest citizens to witness what is happening to our volunteer firefighters. <laughs> 